So back then when Angus and Robertson had their website, they actually outsourced their website to another company who managed their site and fulfilled all their orders. So our job was to get them to the top of Google, which we did, and that company who managed their site managed about 80 other bookstores. So we thought it would be a great idea to contact them and remind them of the great job we did for Angus and Robertson and why not introduce us to all the other customers that they had so we could get them all to the top of Google and they'd make lots of money. Well, we had that meeting at Christmas of 2003, but the owner of the company wasn't so keen. He had other ideas for his company. So what happened was, we started to ask questions. How does your system work? Well, they said they had a system that took 10 minutes to set up a website that had a million books on there. All you needed to do was give them the name of the store and you'd have a website. And if you sold anything, you'd get commission. So I thought about that for a second. I said, wow, that sounds really interesting. And then they could see where I was thinking. And they said, yeah, but no internet only business has made anything of it. It's all been off the back of a traditional bookstore that wanted a website. They're the ones that have been successful. So I went away from that meeting and I said to my brother, Simon, Simon Nash, on the way back to our office in North Sydney, which at that time was only 60 square meters, quite small, I said, wouldn't mind giving that book thing a bit of a go. So it was around Christmas of 2003 that I went away to try and come up with the name of a store. I was in the national parks of New South Wales on a typical Australian summer's day. The insects were screaming at the top of their lungs. And I turned to the person I was with, my ex, um, who still works with Booktopia, funnily enough. And I said to her, her name's Angela. She's our chief data officer. I said, said to her, it's like that kid's movie. Ants, where the insects talk about this place called Insectopia. When I said Insectopia, I thought, hmm, Booktopia. Now that could be a good name because I'd been racking my brains for days to try and come up with the name of the store. And when I came back to Sydney, I checked and no one had bought the URL or registered the business, which we did. And we rang this company who managed these websites and I told them about that we're going to start the store and the name is Booktopia. And sure enough, within 10 minutes, we had a website with a million books on there and the name Booktopia at the top. Now, my brother, who handles the finances, said, you can start Booktopia, but it better be outside of ours because we've got all this consulting work and I need you to be working on that. And I said, no problem, it makes sense to me. So I did, I worked from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. And my son Tyler, who had just been born, would go to sleep and I would work while he was sleeping on building Booktopia. This is in 2004. He also said, this is my brother, he said, but when you start Booktopia, I'm giving you a budget of $10 per day to start the company. Very generous, my brother. But I used that $10 and I went to Google AdWords and I set up my campaigns and I basically sent people to the site. It took me three days to sell my first book and by the end of the month I had sold 60 books or a couple of thousand dollars worth. Now actually, the money that we spent and the commission that we got, there was still a shortfall. So it wasn't exactly business kind of growing it as you'd expect. But I kept working on the campaign. It didn't take long and the business grew. And by the fourth month, I was up to earning $30,000 a month. And by the end of the year, I was up to $100,000 a month. So we were spending a little more, but the business was growing. By the end of two years, we were up to $200,000 a month. So we now had a $2 million business. And we realized this was much bigger than we ever expected. So what happened was we decided to build our own website, move out of our little 60 square meter office in North Sydney, and we took 450 square meters in Atama. Now, at that time, that was the beginning of 2007, there was only five of us in the business. We bought some, sh some shelves on eBay, we hired a warehouse manager, and we rang the publishers and said, it's us, it's Booktopia. We're turning over $2 million a year. And the publisher said, never heard of you. So we had to start from scratch. We had to get, we had to order books. We had to ship the books out and we held no stock back in those days. If someone placed an order on Booktopia, they would have to wait for the books come to, up, come to us and then ship out to them. Unfortunately, that was how it all could be back in those days. We were still doing our consulting work and that helped us fund the business, to be honest. But the business grew and after a couple of years, we were able to drop all of the consulting work just to focus on Booktopia. 